Main article. Mandalorian Crusades. The Mandalorians have endured war since before the formation of the Republic. Fen Rao originating from the planet Mandalore in the Outer Rim, around the year 9991 BBY, the Mandalorians' history was one of warriors who would become feared throughout the galaxy, gaining a reputation as mercenaries and bounty hunters. They were also known to ride mighty saws, and the Mythosaur skull emblem was one of the traditional symbols in Mandalorian iconography. However, long before the Mandalorian cataclysm, the creature had gone extinct. Even prior to the formation of the Old Republic, war dominated their way of life. This life of war eventually turned to dreams of expansion, and a group of Mandalorian warriors known as the Mandalorian Crusaders began waging war against other peoples to conquer their worlds. Armor-clad and wielding swords, the Crusaders laid waste to many worlds during their wars. The Crusaders conquered several worlds and systems beyond their own, among them the planets of Cronest as well as Concord Dawn a planet that bore the scars of a hundred wars, with almost a third of its planetary mass fractured and reduced to space rubble. These early conquests remained part of the Mandalore sector during the later years of the Galactic Republic and into the reign of the Galactic Empire. During the Old Republic era, Mandalorian rally masters, who wore distinct red armor, served as battlefield commanders during the Mandalorian Wars of Expansion. Eventually, the Crusaders' expansion spread to the Inner Rim, where they devastated the planet Abduria out of contempt for the native Abdurians, whom they viewed as dishonorable cowards. In ancient times, a group of Mandalorian warriors known as the Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders existed. During the Clone Wars, the Trandoshan big-game hunter Garnak owned a Neo-Crusaders helmet.